Thank you guys. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, share a little bit about Mortgage Cadence and what we're all about. Uh, Mortgage Cadence, we're, we're a Denver-based company. I, I work out of my home here in, uh, and I have the western region, so I work uh, pretty much uh, west of the Rockies. So think in your networks of, of people that are <laughs> west of the Rockies. Uh, the history of Mortgage Cadence, uh, we've been around for 14 years, uh, building uh, solutions, loan origination solutions, uh, default servicing, uh, documents, uh, we can do loan documents and uh, for a, a number of our nation's uh, largest banks, uh, all the way down to uh, a local bank, uh, I mean a local mortgage company. I recently signed up uh, based out of, uh, out of Long Beach, I'm probably only doing about 20 months a month. So. Uh, we take companies that are, they, they run the gamut. Uh, some of these, uh, you may recognize some names from, uh, from years past, uh, Nova Star, South Star, uh, Security Services Federal Credit Union out of Texas, uh, Silicon Valley Bank, uh, and then uh, a couple of local ones, if you remember these, if you know these names, uh, Impact and, uh, and Icon. Um, we've been, uh, we've, we've uh, invested about $80 million in our technology. That's, that's quite, a, quite a chunk there. So uh, we've got uh, we got some great developers and, and really uh, enjoy what they're doing. All right, why our clients use uh, Symphony? Well, we're uh, we're very intuitive, very uh, uh, our users are able to pick it up uh, very quickly. Uh, they, they really appreciate that, and we're generally able to get most of our clients up and running within about 30 days. We use our our administrative tools to help customize the software to the fit and feel that the customer is looking for. Uh, we're web-based. Uh, we've got three data centers across the country. Uh, there's no software that has to be installed on the customer's computer. They really like that. Some of our competitors require a little bit of an application to run on, on their computer, so they're kind of tied down to using any computer. I'm not exactly sure, but we might even be able to run our software on a Mac. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we haven't been down in five years because of the three data centers that we have. So that's uh, that's key to the customers running a lot of volume. We run probably 700,000 uh, loan packages, loss mitigation, you know, default servicing type packages through our platform on a monthly basis. So we're able to handle a ton of volume. Um, we have an embedded uh, closing dock engine. Uh, so. With the simple click of a button, our customers are able to get those loan docs out. I'm sure Patricia's heard horror stories of docs not getting to closing on time. Well, that doesn't happen with Mortgage Cadence customers because our system doesn't go down. And docs are very simply, you know, a click of the button. We, we remove the guesswork from the originator, from the processor of what needs to be in a disclosure package because that, that's huge. If, if I originate a loan and Joe, I'm, I'm required by law within 72 hours to make sure that you've received all of your disclosures. If not, and you default on that loan, me as the lender, I run risk of having to buy that loan back because you didn't get your disclosures within 72 hours. So we make sure that those things happen. Our, our system is, uh, it's, it's all in one so that there is no jumping around from one system to do this, another system to do that trying to integrate it all together and have a true system of record. So if you ever get audited with our system, everything is there. Uh, we guarantee compliance. We've got the best uh, compliance uh, policy in the industry, uh, $10 million on every loan that closes through our system. Uh, our document recognition system, this is, this is really cool. This is a game changer for us. You can take a stack of documents, uh, whether they be disclosures that have to be signed, pay stubs, uh, bank statements. You can mix them up in any order, send them through the fax machine. It goes to a central fax number. And then those, our system will parse out each one of those. It will recognize it, will read the data off it, it will read the, the name and the address, and it will put it in the right loan file labeled as a bank statement or a pay stub. And then it will extract the data off those forms, and it will compare it to what the originator put into the loan application. So that the underwriter could look at it and say, okay, this guy reported $8,000 a month in income. 
his paycheck says $7,800 a month in income. Go, okay, which one's right? Then they gotta you know, figure that out. So I think that's really cool. Some of our customer prospects call it magic. Um, we have an embedded product and pricing engine. When I used to originate, we had to get rate sheets by fax every day and figure out what we wanted to tell the customer that day. Well, we have a, an automated pricing engine that will do that. Uh, we can deliver uh, loan docs and disclosures wirelessly, uh, paperlessly, so that uh, I send a, a, a link to Joe and an email, and as soon as Joe clicks on the link to begin receiving those uh, documents, then uh, that becomes a part of the system of record, and I've got a date and time stamp that Joe Matthews looked at his loan docs or, or his disclosure package, you know, 14 hours after uh, it was sent. And world-class service. All right. Here I, I threw in a couple of uh, screenshots. <coughs> Our, uh, am I blocking it? Okay. Uh, uh, the only software that needs to be installed on a computer to run our software is, is Microsoft Silverlight. Silverlight. Uh, and that's probably standard pretty much on anybody's computer. So uh, our origination site was written in, uh, in Silverlight. It's a quick registration. You got the borrower on the phone, the loan officers going through all this, throwing in a few key pieces of data so uh, a quote can be generated. Uh, next one here is kind of a loan summary screen. Uh, we really put a lot of effort into the, the look and the, and the feel of our origination side of the platform because a lot of loan officers have attention deficit disorder. They need bells and whistles to keep them interested and happy. Okay. Uh, Next one here is our, our 1003. I think this is a really cool feature. Uh, when I had originally on another platform, you had to remember which page all of the loan data had to go on. With ours, our loan application is one page. Each section on the 1003 can be expanded or contracted as the information is, is needed. So I, I think that's really cool. No, no need to remember what page you got to push up on. Uh, a price and lock screen. Very, very easy to uh, to pull up the loan that fits your borrower's uh, qualifications, and then to uh, <coughs> the, uh, what the rate would be and lock it very, very quickly, very easily. So referral sources: people who work in mortgage companies, regional banks, credit unions. Uh, we do have one sales guy who's really in charge of the really big enterprise lending type customers like the B of A's and the Wells Fargo's goes after that type of business. Uh, he's got the ego and the personality that will uh, that will withstand these long sales cycles. I think he's uh, just about to close another piece of a, a Wells Fargo deal. He's been working on it for two years. I don't, I have ADD. I don't have that kind of patience. <laughs> so uh, some of the other types of, of uh, employees within these organizations, loan officers, underwriters, processors, closers, funders. Um, secondary marketing, um, so sales managers, account executives, sales reps, um, title reps, uh, mortgage insurance reps. And anytime you have a, a loan to value that's over 80 percent, usually there's some mortgage insurance involved, and there's reps out there for that. Uh, credit vendors and other third-party vendors that are uh, you know, kind of ancillary to the, the mortgage business. All right. I learned this from Craig's presentation. Questions to ask, these, these, I think these are key. Uh, of an employee in one of those institutions I just mentioned, you come across them at a Christmas party, how do you like your current origination system? These are not yes or no questions, okay? Because th those aren't good questions in sales, okay? Hows and whys and things like that. So uh, how do you like your current origination system? How many different systems do you have to work with? say if it's probably more than two, that's too many. Um, how are you able to deal with the complex compliance issues? I've mentioned repeatedly at my sales manager moments. If you screw up in a, in a compliance issue, you're facing a buyback if that loan goes bad. And you know, not a lot of us have, as owners of mortgage companies, you know, we don't have a, you know, a, a spare half a million dollars laying around to buy loans back. Uh, also, would you be willing to help a colleague make an introduction to a decision maker uh, to look at an all-in-one system? So, not asking for them to, um, you know, 
I'm just asking to, to, to make an introduction. Okay. Uh, of the third party service vendors. My, is that ten alright? Thanks for the two minute warning. That's your two minutes. Time to hunt. Okay. Um, of those uh, non bank type employees of third party uh, service people, who do you know might be looking? Uh, anybody having issues with uh, technology? Anybody having trouble getting their loan docs out? Who's a real pain in the butt to deal with? It could be, be it's because of their technology. Uh, they take forever getting stuff done, and uh, companies are suffering from a high turnover rates. Because believe me, uh, you know the the technology um, can really give employees fits, and it can be a reason that they they leave companies. So our goal is to be the last loan origination system a company ever deals with. So questions? Yes. Uh. This, this service is incredible. If anybody's ever dealt in this area, like I, I'm a notary, and one time um, we were going to take the train down and have a great time down in San Diego and get dock signed. And so I'm on the train, the docks did not make it in, and the girl had to wait for him. And I'm literally on the train watching her racing on the freeway that was totally stopped to get there in time so we could actually get the dock signed just because they didn't get there. Another time, I was faxing docs to the, the person who was going to do the loan. Two days later, I find out they're missing two or three important documents that just somehow didn't get through their system. So this system, I mean, it would save a lot of gray hair. So it's really good, I think. Thank you. All right. Mike. Oh, who's your, who's your bread and butter? Like, what type of companies, or do you have any specific types, or? 50 or more employees or? Um, we don't generally look at it as far as in terms of number of employees. We look at that volume. We're, we're looking for companies that are doing in excess of 60 or 70 loans a month. Okay. Yeah. So to do that kind of a volume, I'd say that your average loan officer might be doing two loans a month uh, on average. So that, that would be probably a company that's around 50 employees. And, and multiple uh, locations. That's really what we, we specialize in. Yeah. Did you say they actually have a guarantee they will um, that the loan is going to be done correctly, or they refund the money themselves? Was that what you mentioned? Uh, as far they have as a our, policy. Our compliance guarantee. We guarantee that our docs are going to be fully local, state, and federal uh, compliant. And in, in most systems, you know, garbage in, garbage out. So. Uh, we're going to make sure that they are up to date for every state, federal, local law, and that uh, we'll back that with a $10 million email policy. All right. Great. All right. Nice. Thank you. So basically, I just wanted to mention I had a uh, customer, and she worked for Downey Savings. She was a loan officer. And they actually went under because they did too many subprime loans, and I recently saw her. Now she works for uh, Fannie and Freddie, and what her job is, is she goes over all the bad loans and she finds all the flaws that were done, which is a, a lot of them, and then they go back to the originator and they, and they say, give me the money back. And so you can imagine when the, governor, the government says, give me the money back, you don't have much choice. So um, it was definitely what Mike was talking about um, with the origination software is vital these days especially so anyway that's it thank you